Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today I'm going to show you how to replace this thing. It's a wheel cylinder. Now the wheel cylinder goes inside the drum brakes and pushes out and stops the vehicle. So we're going to replace that today. Now this message is brought to you by Rednecks. What I mean by that is rednecksrs.com. I want you to go there, check out their website rednecksrs.com. There you can find all kinds of great stuff that rednecks like to do like hunting and fishing and racing and hunting and fishing and off-roading. So check that out, rednecksrs.com. Okay guys, so somebody recently asked me if I could make a video on how to replace the wheel cylinder without taking off uh, the brakes. So we're gonna do that now. So I've got a new wheel cylinder and the reason you might want to replace this is um, either it's leaking, <clears throat> which if it's leaking it'll be leaking brake fluid out of here and kind of getting all over your brake shoes and kind of leaking out. Um, it could also be just locked up, in which case this one is locked up. When you press the brakes it doesn't even uh, try to come out. So uh, I just replaced the, the brake shoes and everything. I should have gone ahead and replaced that while I had it off, but I didn't. Um, so I'm going to show you how to replace this without removing your, your shoes because removing this, if your shoes are good, it's kind of a pain in the butt to remove all this and get it all back in place properly and that can be a pain so uh, we're going to do it without. So the first thing you want to do um, is get you some vice grips like this and put uh, rubber hoses on them and then you can take that and just pinch off your, your brake line. So I'm going to pinch that off over here and um, it just kind of keeps keeps the brake fluid from leaking all out from uh, from the front. All right, so the next thing you'll want is a line wrench or a flare nut wrench. And um, as you can see, they're they're like regular boxed in wrenches, but they're cut at the end and they're a lot thicker. And these will help you keep from uh, keep from tearing up your your nuts back here and if you don't have one of these I would highly recommend getting one otherwise you're gonna strip that thing and you're gonna have a heck of a time after you do that because you'll probably have to replace the whole line which isn't gonna be much fun so get yourself a good set of line wrenches um, on the brakes it's usually a 3 8 or um, 10 millimeter and I've got both here and uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, remove some of the lines off the back here. Alright, so right here is your bleeder screw. That's going to be in the way. Um, so we're going to remove that first. And I've already put some uh, penetrating oil on here. Some PB blaster. You want to make sure that you soak it really good. That way it'll come off easily. There we go, and now this one, it's a different size, 3 eighths. Alright, so this line came off really easily, and once that comes out I can just kind of Pull it up out of the way. Now if you get, if you start twisting that thing and the whole line wants to turn with it, uh, don't keep turning because that thing could be rusted with the line and in that case you don't want to turn, you don't want to turn it off. What you want to do is pull the whole wheel cylinder out and spin the wheel cylinder off of the brake line. Um, I got lucky and that uh, was, was nice and free. Make sure to soak it with some PB Blaster like I said beforehand and hopefully that'll be your case as well. Now we need to take off these two bolts right here and here that hold the wheel, wheel cylinder on. And in this case that is a uh, 13 millimeter. Alright, now the back is totally free and uh, we can set those aside and start working on the other end here. 
Okay, well now I need to put your safety goggles on because there's a lot of springs and stuff in here. Um, now some wheel cylinders are going to be easier than others. This one happens to have this little uh, pin that goes and attaches, it pushes inside the wheel cylinder and then attaches to the brake shoe. Some of these, the brake shoe just, just has a little insert that goes onto the wheel cylinder. So before we can take that out, we're going to have to deal with that. And um, to do that, I'm going to pull this one spring over here. Now the way you know which one to pull on this is um, it's the opposite side of this, uh, the one with this wire right here. So find this wire that comes down um, for your adjuster and go to the opposite side and we're just going to pull that one spring. There we go. Now it helps if you have, this is a, um, a brake tool and this is kind of comes in handy. It's got this end for, for doing these little springs over here and it's got this little puller over here and I don't even know what all what else it can do but I usually just use that for the puller and uh, that's about all I use that for. Okay now this is that piece I was telling you about that needs to come out so what we're going to do is well I don't even need to push use a screwdriver. The other one was kind of stuck so I just pushed it with the screwdriver and then we can pull that thing out. Now we're going to use that again, so hold on to that. Now this one looks like it's pretty much free. On the other side it was it was rusted in place and in that case he's going to take a you know a mallet and a big piece of metal kind of pound on it, break it free and then let's see if I can pull it out. There we go. That's it. Now we just need to put uh, the, other, the new one in. Okay, so here's the new wheel cylinder. Uh, make sure you have the correct side. There's a left and a right side. First thing I'm going to do is just to remove this so that's not in the way, if I can. There we go. Alright, so just pull that out. And now, what I'm going to do is put these little pins in. So I'm going to take some petroleum jelly, just kind of dip it in there. That way I don't uh, mess up this little seal right here. There we go. Okay, so you want to slide that in, put it in the correct side over here, and then push it over into place. Now it may be a little hard to get in there since we still have the brakes on, but it will go. Just got to give it a little force. Okay. Now I'm going to take this cap out on the back and what I want to do is install this line before anything else because right now the wheel cylinder has a little bit of wiggle room and this line is very stiff and if both are stiff then it's gonna probably cross thread you don't want that so see if you can get that on there first and you don't need to tighten it down all the way just make sure it's on there properly okay once you get that started in there good then go ahead and find your your bolts and uh, let's bolt this thing back in. Alright, now that the wheel cylinder is tight on there, we're going to go ahead and tighten up the line. Nice and snug. And last, we'll put the uh, the bleeder back on here and tighten it down. 
All right, now I just want to push that in, get it in the correct spot there, push the brake back over, and we're almost done. All we need to do is install this spring back. Um, you can use this. See if I can get it with this. Safety glasses on. Ugh. There we go. Now, do a double check, make sure all your springs and sprockets and goodies and whatnot is in the correct place. And obviously you're gonna have to uh, bleed the system again. Um, but other than that, we're all finished here. All right guys, well thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about your wheel cylinders. Don't forget to check out our sponsor's website, RednecksRS.com, where you can find all the best things that Rednecks love to do. RednecksRS.com Okay guys, well if you need a video on how to bleed your brakes, then uh, I think I've got one around here somewhere. Don't forget to subscribe right here to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page as well. Also, check out the website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff, hats and t-shirts, muffler bearings, flux capacitors, uh, discount coupon codes, all kinds of great stuff there for you, bleepinjeep.com. Leave your comments and questions below, and we will see you next time. I appreciate you watching. Okay guys, I hope you learned something there. I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and supporting the Bleep and Jeep channel. Now we've got a few options for you. First of all, these videos can be costly and take a lot of time to do. And if you want to contribute, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, the option for that is right over there. Also, we'd love for you to check out the t-shirt store. The link for that is right down there. We've got these t-shirts, these t-shirts, this hat, and more at bleepandjeep.com store or that link. Also, we'd love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That option is right below. It's free. You get updates via email every week when we upload a new video. Also, we'd love for you to check out the website, bleepandjeep.com, or click this link right here. We've got all kinds of off-road videos. We've got how-to videos, off-road parks, and discount coupon codes, and more. So check that out, bleepandjeep.com. All right, guys. Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting, and we'll see you in the next video.